We um, primarily rent the building and that's our biggest revenue stream of what we do. The stage events that come in are brought to, uh, to the community by others. The building has to be the way that they thought it was when they rented it. We do work very closely with Wigan to coordinate what days they're doing what so that none of their work is going to interfere with our shows. Wigan Construction would tell you that it's a huge obstacle, although there's, it's something that they're used to and, and having us still stay operating while, um, while they're doing construction. We'll work off hours like tonight, we're working second shift, we'll work third shifts, we'll work early hours. So anything we can do to be in the building when they're not having a show is we're trying to be as flexible as we can with that. Some of the obstacles to um, having construction going on while also doing live events include the ability to be clean, the ability to have the building the way they want, parking, access, all of those things are really important to the renter. If they have a show or an event over the weekend, the sidewalks are cleared, the lifts put up in the air, um, it's as if we're not here at the end of each day we clean up the lobby because we share common entrances and common lobbies because there's only one elevator that gets us access to these floors. We've been very, very fortunate to have a clear idea of what the shows entail and a clear idea of what the construction process entails. Probably the biggest challenge to accommodate the events and things here is there's just an extraordinary amount of coordination that has to take place. Oftentimes we're, we're talking daily. Every day we talk about schedule. Um, can we even have noise? That comes up quite a bit. Noise actually has been a really entertaining uh, um, discussion to have with the, with the construction people because uh, just because they are seven stories above us or just because they're on the opposite end of the building does not mean that we can't hear them jackhammering and sawing through concrete and whatever the heck else they're doing up there. We will honestly hear when something gets dropped on the seventh floor, it will resonate on the stage. I am certain there is a common piece of rebar through this entire facility that if uh, we drill a hole over here, they hear it in the theater. If there's a show going on, they don't want to hear jackhammer running up here or us hammer drilling a hole in the concrete. And that's our goal is to be able to operate this project without any kind of impact uh, to the public or to the embassy and its uh, events. 